what's up what's up what's up what's up our amazing amazing youtube viewers from wherever you are watching us from another new video from decibel audio kenya today we want to do a massive review of this digital mixer called the midas m32 live it's a digital mixer it's a digital console and today we want to be very thorough we want to Talk about this mixer and we want to talk about amazing, amazing features that are found in this particular mixer. Remember, we are your favorite shop, the Decibel Audio Kenya. Remember to give us a subscription, comment, any form of question that you may have. Ask us on this platform and you are going to be of much help to you. Decibel Audio Kenya, Mombasa and Nairobi. All right. So without further ado, what is a digital mixer? What does it do? Where is it uh, applied or where do we use it? We are going to cover all these questions and we are going to cover this amazing, amazing uh, piece of console right now i'm using it so the crisp clear sound that you're hearing is from this um condenser microphone but it's coming through or it's coming out of this massive uh very nice crisp clear midas m32 live so mostly if you are using an analog mixer or an analog uh console you need to have plenty of other things for you to be able to achieve the best or the maximum best quality of sound that you need you will need an equalizer, sometimes you need a compressor, you need a crossover, you need a limiter, you need all these things, so many things. But what happens when 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 you have really advanced and you want to become to become a pro, you want to come you want to go into the next level, and what does it come with? So the next level of combining all those factors is something called a digital mixer or digital console, where all the the, the processors are consolidated on one particular uh, gadget. So you bring in all your different inputs in this particular um, uh, console, the mixer, then you're able to route them in a particular direction, then you equalize as per individual needs, as per individual channels, and you're able to put all the filters, all the, all the effects, all the compression, anything that you may need from that one particular channel, and you have an amazing, amazing piece of work. So this thing uh, or this gadget works with something called layers as well. Our producer will come and show us all these things. Today we are going to do a video with our producer at Decibel Audio Records. He has been using this gadget for, for some time. So I thought he will be the one doing us or guiding us today on giving us some of the features, some of the application and how to use this particular gadget. So without further ado, that's just a few um, tips or just a basic basic introduction of what exactly a digital mixer is so you're able to get all all in one under one roof then you control them you route them and you send them to wherever you want as clear as scripts and as dedicated and as controlled as you really want to control it eh? so let me not take much of your time let me introduce mr kishwangai so mr kishwangai is one of our producers at a decibel audio records he's right over here so he's going to take us through. So, uh, Mr. Kish, how are you? Very fine, very fine, sir. So he is my student. So if he's doing bad, then blame it on me. If he's doing good, give credit to me. All right. So he's going to show us today. Tell us why we need a digital mixer. All right. Also tell us is is it for everybody? All right. Maybe not because if you don't really understand frequencies, can somebody who does not understand frequencies can they be able to use this gadget? Just be very honest. Yes, this mixer is for everyone. As long as you understand it, yes, it is good. For somebody who does not understand how frequencies work, do you think it's going to be easy for them, or do you think they should start with the analog mixers, or they can come here directly and just be able to learn step by step? What the mixer has done, it has taken the analog and put it in a, in one compact. Yes, digital All the version. crossovers, yes. the compressors, everything that is used analog yes. is put in one gadget. So it's easy yes. for even uh, someone who doesn't understand. Yes. As long as they know uh, an equalizer, yes. they will be able to use it. All right, you've heard it from him. I thought you had to go for the for lessons from the analog one but you don't necessarily have to go that route as long as you're going to understand some of these small small things because now the difference is that it does not necessarily maybe have the physical equalizer the one that you lift physically right but you're just going to see a diagram of an equalizer there and a representation of the same now you just be able to interpret what you've been seeing on the other side and come and use it here so let me not waste a lot of time mr kishwangai welcome Thank you very much. take us through let uh, the people enjoy, explain to us, take your time, all right? You. Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Welcome, everyone. I am Kish Wangai. I'm the producer at Decibel Audio Records. 
And today this machine is an awesome machine and uh, it's so easy to use because uh, every channel that you see here is a replica of one channel. So it has 32 channel input channels and uh, if you understand what one channel does, you'll be able to understand all the other 32 channels. So this is channel one. And channel one is the channel that I am using. The microphone that I am using is a co uh, condenser microphone. That means I will need to uh, press this button that adds the phantom power. So this section of uh, the mixer, it has been set, uh, set apart. This is the preamp. It uses the Midas preamp. Uh, you have the phantom power button and every channel has that. So because channel 2 has nothing, you can see. That is how you select a channel. So we are using channel 1. Phantom power, this is polarity and you have a very good low cut here. And uh, you can view it. You can view this part of the mixer on the screen right here. So as you can see, if I press the low cut, it activates there and it will show you where the low cut begins. Alright? That is how you can see. And you can actually feel from the mixer, from the microphone. The bass is too much when I cut all the way and when I reduce that. The same has a gate. Uh, you understand the gate is what allows the uh, the signal. The threshold cuts the signal. If the signal is too slow, it's too soft, it does not reach the threshold, it will not activate. When you activate, you can see here. When the threshold is zero, you can get everything. But when the th I pull up the threshold, you can feel... That is the work of the gate. You cut the unnecessary noises so that the threshold, where the threshold starts, that's where the signal will start coming. Then you have dynamics. This is a compressor, a very good one. You activate it. You can view it here. Here there is the threshold and you have a button for it here on the console. And you have the ratio. This is how you change the ratio. You have the attack. You have uh, the hold, release and gain this is makeup gain and there's another page that also has a low cut and the frequency okay then the same channel has an equalizer this is the equalizer if we activate it you can see here it has three bands it has four bands sorry low low mid high mid and high so if i want to adjust the low this is the gain and this is the frequency. This is the frequency. If I add uh, the gain, oh, there is mode. The mode that we have put here, it's a low shelf. So it will just adjust the low shelf. The low, the first uh, band will be a low shelf. Then you can put the other mode. Uh, it's also a shelf. Then there's the parametric, as you can see. Changes like that. Uh, look at the that is how it changes that is the first band and as you can see there are several modes for lows then we can go to mid select there you can add reduce and there is also mode the mode is for wide and narrow then you have high mid which has the same modes wide and narrow then high has a low shelf wide and uh, that one the low the high pass uh, that is the high pass and uh, it also has uh, the bandwidth the queue it changes the queue it has so many modes. 
there so that's the equalizer so if you understand this from one channel you will be able to understand the rest of 32 channels that you can select from here okay so next we have the bus sends these bus sends you send to the buses this mixer is awesome it has 16 buses you have 16 buses that are the outputs at the back of the mixer and as you can see you can view them here these buses you can see them here so if I send this microphone to this bus you can see it has already started coming to bus one if you send it to the bus and you can see how I'm controlling the volume from here but you can also control from here because if I want this same microphone to go into the second bus that's where I will use these uh, these knobs to change the levels so that is the signal it's coming to all the four buses and it goes the same same thing all the way to 16 so like you can see you can put one signal to all the 16 buses all right they are all here uh, except for buses 13 to 16 those control the effects those buses they uh, the, the Midas company the bearing company made the four buses the last four buses to control the effects and you have a lot of effects a lot a lot of effects that you can you can put there all right and the effect returns they come here in the auxiliary when you press this button then you can see here is the auxiliaries and you have six auxiliaries at the back and you have the USB, this one, you control it from here. Then these eight give you the four effects, left and right. And as you can see, they are linked because it's left and right. Those are four different effects that you can put on one channel. So on channel one, I can be able to put, uh, if you look here, we have vintage, Vintage room, we have hall reverb, we have stereo delay, you have stereo chorus. All those effects you can add to the one channel, to channel number one, and I'll show you how you do that. So what you do first, you press the fader flip. When you press the fader flip, this one, then you come to the desired effect, which is channel 13 which is vintage room then I will come to channel number one and if I add I add up to there then I will come here and I will control the amount you can feel the amount changing of that effect to that channel if I want the same channel to come to the whole reverb I'll do the same as long as the fader flip is uh, is on, you control how much of that effect goes goes into that channel. All right, and you can control also the amount of the return. These are the return, the effect returns. All right, up to there, I think we are. You have understood. So channel 13 to 16 control effects and you have uh, the returns here so we have covered basically most of uh, what happens on this panel if you look here at the screen you have the home button the home button shows you and tells you what is going on on that particular channel so if uh, you look at the gate the gate is on if I put it off here you can see it goes off, goes off here, 
This is the button to activate gate. You can see all of them are on. And that information, all this information here is uh, displayed here on the home screen. So you have gate, you have EQ, you have the compressor, and you have these are inserts. Uh, then you have the bus sense. You can see where channel number one has been sent and at what volume. All right. Then you have the configuration. You have the delay. You have low cut and inserts. And uh, this is channel number one. That is the configuration. There is uh, no insert. We have not put any of the effects on the channel as an insert. All right. Then it goes to now. Uh, every compartment. As you can see, if I go next, it shows you the gate, the settings of the gate. Now you have the full control of the gate. And you go further, you see, now you have full control of the compressor. It shows you the whole, what compressor is doing, the attack, the hold, uh, release, gain, and the mix. This is the mix between the dry signal and the compressed signal, you can see. It's compressing at peak, not RMS. And uh, we are using compressor, not expander. Uh, we will explain that later. And you can see how the equalizer is performing. And you can see they did a very good job. You can see the frequencies, every single frequency. Where there is uh, a lot of energy, you can see. My voice is low, so at around between 100 and 400 kilohertz, that's where my voice is a lot. Then you have all your sends. All your sends are here from 1 to 16. You can see we put uh, effects. You can see the effects that we have put on channel number 1. And it has gone to uh, the first bus, bus number 1. And as you can see here, it can show you. You can see the signal is coming in here at that level. After that, you go to the main bus, which is this. This is the main bus. Uh, the uh, right and left, they, they are selected. They have been put to be output number 16 and 15. 15 and 16 control the main output. That is the home button. All right, then we can go to the meters. The meters show you what is happening. That is channels. All these are your channels from that, uh, channel 1 to number 32. Then there is the mix bus. You can mix all these bus, all these buses. As you can see, this is bus number 9. If I take the slider up and down, you can see what is happening there. Channel bus number 10. You see? Bus number one, two, three, four. You can, uh, you can see what is happening in your buses. And you can also see what is happening in your effects. These are the effect returns. The effect returns, like we said, they are controlled here. You press the AUX in USB, this button right here. And it gives you on the second compartment, you have the right and left uh, effect returns. So you can see if I put them down, you can see them going down there. And remember, they are linked because it's right and left. They are a stereo effects. Then you have the routing. Now this is where you have a lot of information. As you can see, the input, right now we are taking local in. 1 and 8. The other one is taking from 9 to 16, 17 to 24, 25 to 32. So what that means, it's the, the mixer, the inputs are coming from the back of the mixer. Everything that is at the back of the mixer is the one that we have selected. But if you have a stage box and you have connected to the panel, behind, the, behind you, you can see there is a the input for the stage box. 
Now that's where you select inputs to be AS50. Like that you can select. And you, you go down, you have all those ones there. And you also have a card because this one is also used as a sound card. So the card has 32 inputs. So where you want the mixer to take the uh, input from, the mixer to get the input from, you select from here. Right? That is the input. You go to the next tab. You have AES, uh, AESA. Those are the outputs. It goes like that. Then you have B. Then you have card selections. The card is getting from local one. So the card, the sound card of the uh, Midas M32, it's taking signal from, from local inputs from the back of the, the mixer, where we have put the XLRs, okay? And the XLRs, these ones, you can also select where you want them to come from, either from uh, the outputs here, from one, it has uh, 16 outputs, like we said, so you can select where those XLRs are getting their signals from. So you can either select those XLRs outputs to get the signal from the card, or from the stage box, or from the local input. But right now, we just want them to, uh, to take everything that is out uh, from the mixer, goes from these outputs. So we have said the XLR outputs, these are the output channels. That's where you get, uh, where you put your XLRs. And you have the outputs. This is where you assign every output. Where do you want the output to get the signal from? If you want output one to come from mix bus one, you select that. And like I said, 15 and 16 come from the main. They have been set apart, but you can put, if I wanted channel output one, to, to give me from the main, I will just have to do that. You do that, and uh, you select main, left, and the other one, main, right. That's what will happen. So these, all the outputs are assignable. You can assign them. Okay? Then the next, we have the auxiliaries. You have six auxiliaries at the back of the mixer. You can select where the auxiliaries are getting their signal from, either from main, from mix bus, matrix, direct out, or the monitor. This is the monitor compartment. You get the monitor level, you have the phones, and you have mono, dim. Dim, what it does, it, it brings the volume down uh, by dBs, you, you can set it, I'll show you later. Then you have P16. This is where you can actually select alternate output. This is, uh, this is for that uh, wireless, wireless stage box. You can control it from here. This is uh, alternate. Then you have a user where you can actually set how you want the inputs to be and the outputs to be. This is uh, customizable. You can just assign and route everything the way you, you feel like and the way that your, your setup is, uh, the, the setup that suits you. All right? Then we have setup. This is where you select the sample rate. You can select the sample rate. You can reset the whole compress, the, the whole mixer to factory reset. You can shut down from here. And you can uh, select the clock. This is a, a little bit more advanced, but you can select the clock, the internal clock, or use the clock of the uh, stage box or the expansion card. But there's not a lot to do here. If uh, you can see how I'm controlling the, the brightness of the screen here, you can see how I can control the contrast. I can make it dark or brighter. That is what that does. You can select. All these bo buttons are, have multiple functions. All right?
Then you have your library. We'll uh, tackle this later, you can see. There, there are presets. You have been put presets, you can uh, select one for base. And uh, we'll tackle this later, in a later topic. Like I showed you, you have your effects. This is the effects home. It takes you to show you where all the effects that are there. And then I can select the effect that I want. You can see how it's changing. I can select any of those effects. And if I want to edit that particular effect, I press the other button that brings me the setups. And all these buttons are the function buttons that, these are the knobs that uh, control the, the, the effect. All right? Uh, okay. Effects home. You can also select where you want the effect to come from, from bus 14, 15, up to 16. So these ones are, have already been customized, but you can say that you want this reverb to come from bus 16. And this we are talking about the buses that I showed you. So next we have the mute groups. This button allows you to have six mute groups meaning that you can group channels that you want to mute at a particular time. Let's say you have finished with the drums and the mic drums are still on. So all the drum mics, let's say we had put them from channel one to channel eight. We want all of them to be controlled by one button. All right, so how to do that? You have to press the mute group, let's say it's one. And at the same time, you, pre you select which one, which channels you want to put on that mute group. Let's, so, let's say it's from channel one to channel eight, we want to put them in mute group number one. This is what you do. Like you can see, I press simultaneously, I, by holding that channel, that, that button of one, I selected all the, the channels that I want to come to, mute group number one. So what happens is, if I come here and mute channel one, group one, it'll mute, what that does is, you can see, if I mute group number one, it'll mute all from one to channel number eight. If I unmute it, all of them simultaneously unmute. If I want to mute, to put them in uh, mute group number two, I just do the same. So, in mute group number two, we have selected one to five. Mute group number one has one to eight. So, it can be easier for you to control the mute, what you want to mute at what particular time in a group, so that you don't have to go muting them all at the same, uh, all at the same time, one by one. You can just use one button to mute all the channels that you want to mute at that particular time. All right? And I think up to there, the, the next one is the utility. The utility button, here it is, it shows you basically what is happening. You can delete, you can uh, scroll, delete these uh, presets. That's the function of uh, the utility, the utility button. Up to there, I think, uh, you will see us for the next one so that we can show you how to select sets, how to save, because you can save every scene. Let's say you have a choir that is singing at a particular time and you have a guest choir or you have a guest band that is coming and you did sound check and uh, the settings are different. You can save all those so that it's easier to recall. We will show you how to save scene snippets so that you can select what you want to save at that particular time. And we'll show you that in our next video. 
and this is decibel audio we give you information on the new things in the market and this is midas m32 live <laughs> 